Tinsel Street runs north to south through the character area that bears its name. The street ends at the south where it joins Norman Street. That's the southern boundary of the area. At the north, the River Witham runs through it west to east and that, more or less, forms the area's northern edge. This is a commercial area with a large number of 19th and 20th century business premises of widely varying size and scale. But its origins stretch back far beyond that. The River Witham was an important means of transport from as long ago as the mid-first century AD, when the Romans first established a city, and probably long before that as well. The current northern riverbank runs very close to where it was then, with the line of the lower city walls running parallel and slightly to the north. Land south of the river and east of High Street was originally wetland, until a process of reclamation, which probably began in late Saxon or early medieval times. That part of the river which flows through the Sinsel Street area was channelled into its present course probably in the 12th century. Some of the oldest buildings in this area are to be found on the north side of the river, such as two inns on Waterside North, both considerably altered over time, but dating originally from the early 16th century. Both inns probably began as merchants' houses. They have several features typical of merchants' houses elsewhere in Lincoln, such as stone ground floors, and timber-framed upper floors which project out above. They make a striking contrast with buildings in the remainder of the area, including the modern restaurant which occupies the waterfront site between them, as well as the brick-built buildings along Sinsel Street. As you look around you, you can see that the area has many other surviving historical features including the major landmark public buildings of the Central Market and the Corn Exchange, dating from the 18th and 19th centuries. They are large and ambitious in size and have generous amounts of space around them. In general, this is an area in which larger buildings are to be found to the west, in the area bordering High Street, the main commercial centre of Lincoln. The Central Market is a solid, single-storey building. Despite its 18th century appearance, with rusticated arches and balustrated parapet, it was built in 1938 to replace the old butter market. On the northern side, the central entranceway is that of the old 18th century butter market. If you look just below the first floor Venetian window, you can see an inscription dating to 1737. The stonework either side of the entranceway has been carefully matched, but look closely and you can see the stone around the earlier entranceway has been worn away by over 200 years of use. The southern end of the modern covered market was built in 1879. The corn exchange is still, after 130 years, a market where fruit and vegetables continue to be sold. North of the River Witham, and still in the west of the area, the Waterside Shopping Centre, opened in 1991, appears at first sight to be made up of several large-scale buildings. The buildings incorporate a number of different traditional design features and have been intentionally varied in scale and style to reflect the changeable character of the area. Towards the east of the area, further away from High Street, you find that buildings tend to have much smaller plots, seldom more than three bays in width and two to three storeys in height. Building on Sinsel Street began in earnest around 1840 and today it is a busy commercial district with a mixture of modern and 19th century buildings, some just one property and others short rows, such as those at numbers 39 to 44, which are the earliest properties on Sinsel Street. You can often make out where several properties were built together by looking at their first floors, which have generally changed less than ground floors. At ground level, 
Many shop fronts have obviously been altered several times over the years, but there are unifying features. Typically, shop fronts are wooden framed in a loosely classical style and stand on low wood or brick bases. As the upper floors have generally changed less, they retain a greater number of original features, such as wooden vertical sliding sash windows and stone sills, some of them in the form of bay windows. The area to the east was comprehensively redeveloped in the post-war period, but it remains closely connected with Sinsel Street. You can walk through many shops, alleyways and passages to get to the bus station. In earlier days, these routes would have connected Sinsel Street with industries and warehouses to the east, in particular local breweries. These alleyways, as well as the narrow routes along the river and Sinsel Street itself, create a busy and enclosed feeling in many parts of the area. As you walk into City Square and around Cornhill, there is a sense of openness which helps to identify these areas as public spaces. Sinsel Street continues to be one of Lincoln's busiest retail centres, a combination of the many independent businesses and the long-established markets of the area. This video is one of a series exploring the sense of place of the many distinctive areas of the city of Lincoln. Explore the Heritage Connect website to find out more about this or other areas of the city. As well as many videos, you'll find a huge amount of further information there. But best of all, wherever you are, keep your eyes open for more clues to the city's fascinating history.